It's beer o'clock on me, Lil Craft Beer. How are we all doing today? I've got Mr. Blue Van Man joining us. How are you doing, Dave? I'm all right, buddy. Are you? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. How's your, how's your week in work been? Um, I only did the two days this week. The way the shift pattern goes, I just did Wednesday, yeah. Thursday. Yeah, yeah. Not, I've just... Right, what we do, we split the screen. I just paused the live feed. I can get lots of the comments. We've got a hello. How are you, Dave? Hello, hello. Hi. So people, people are tuning in, people are commenting. The live feed's working. Um, yeah, busy week, Dave, was it? it that, well, I just do 12-hour shifts. I just did Wednesday, Thursday. It were okay. It was easy. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Uh, I'm really enjoying your. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a tomatoes on toast man myself. <laughs> yeah. I'm really <laughs> <spoiled> pizza. <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? It's a cob. It's a pizza on a cob. That's yeah. all it is. It's not rocket science. <laughs> uh, Chris, whatever, saying, looking forward to this. I, I've been to Tesco and I've bought the beers. Uh, hey, hey, fella, hope you're both doing well. So, the, yeah, the, so the, the live feed tonight, just to, just to let everybody know. Uh, on Dave's channel, Dave advertised on his channel that we're going to pick up three beers. Uh, it was a Wild Card Brewery Double Dry Hopped IPA. Uh, aye, aye. A Berliner <laughs> Weiss. I'm really interested to see what you think of this one, Dave. It's a Berliner Weiss, so, so Berliner Heist. Yeah. It's a bit fruity from the looks of it. Uh, oh, it's a raspberry. Uh, do you know, I, I'm, I'm not going to say too, too much on this, but... I've got high hopes for this beer. Um, right. It, it's going to be a bit exciting. I think even though it's probably the lowest of the ABVs in... Yeah. Uh, I can't even see it now on the back. Um, oh, it's at, the, at the top. It's in the white bit at the top. Just 3.5% ABV. It's the lowest of the ABVs. Unless we kick the live feed off with a bit of fun. Maybe we kick the live feed off with a bit of fun. And then we got a Yalamo. Uh, there we go. Thornbridge Yalamo, double IPA. Um, so you lot have got the same beers as, as us. Um, we're going to kick things off with the Berliner Heist. So it's a, it, it's a Berlin-style beer from Germany. Uh, one, of these, one of these styles of beer, Dave, that nearly died away. Um, yeah. And people were just wanting drinking it. Do you know what? I think we should just go into it because I think it's going to surprise you, this one. So, everybody, join us. There's going to be a big bang on this one because they got the full circle opening can. Oh, yeah. Big crack on that. I like the key, right? the uh, can opener. Yeah, oh, yeah. Use it That's good, isn't it? <laughs> That's good. Do you remember in the old days when you used to be able to get the can and break it off and then fly the little ring bit? Open? Yes. Stop yes. that, didn't they? They stopped the health and safety. Yeah. Right, you ready? Yeah, let's go, Dave. Bit of a throw of this one, getting it into the glass. Look at the colour. Yeah. And it's all, I got all lumps and chunks and shopping, trolley. Oh, yeah. Players in mine, yeah. Look at that. That's smart, that is, isn't it? I like the look of that. Fantastic, fantastic. So... What have you got, Dave, in your glass? Uh, I can smell. Yeah. Ras I can certainly smell the raspberries in the what is it? What kind of berries in there? It's low, it smells really fruits of the forest, doesn't yeah. it? That kind of thing. Raspberry and blackberry, yeah. Fruits That's it. You can certainly smell that. Can everybody at home smell that? Um, so we got lots of comments. Um, good to see the blue van man on. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, mad. Blue Van Man is the man. Uh, hi, Simon. Blue Van and Chad. They're all, yeah, they're all drinking the beer. So hopefully, guys, you've all tuned in. You've all tuned in. You've all opened this Berlin Heist now. So I think we should tune in. Yeah. Okay, this will probably be your first sour beer. Oh, <laughs> what do you think of that? Oh, I like that. <laughs> Go on. Don't talk to me about it. It's... It is sour. It's like sucking a sour gobstopper, isn't it? But it's lovely. Yeah, yeah. Exactly that. I tell you what, that had been gone in one. If I weren't talking to you, that would have been gone now. That is really, really... It's got like a... You know when you have a Andrew's liver salt? That's it, yeah, yeah. It's that, isn't it? It's got that, but with fruit. Yeah, absolutely. A real kind of buzz of sourness. That comes from... 
I won't get too technical for our viewers, but that comes from uh, yeah, technical for me because I'm as thick as shit. <laughs> okay, okay. So when they when they mash in, when they when they get the the, the malt into the beer, they can either send it in two directions. They can either make it bring the sweetness out in a beer with the with the malt, or they can act. It's um it's a byproduct of milk. Um, it's called lactose bacillus. Right. Instead of making the beer sweet, it sends the enzymes in the malt in a different direction. It makes the beer sour. Is that like milk? You know when you get that lactose milk, is that the same in yeah. beer, eh? Yeah, kind of like a lactose bacillus. Um, it's a boy, it's a small part of the milk that they use to sour the beer. Right, that's lovely. But really, really tasty. Yeah, I really like that. <laughs> yeah. That is frightening how much I do like that. And for 3.8, I mean, I like a beer on my lunch break, I do. 3.5%. You, you, could, you could drink one of these on your lunch, couldn't you, really? Not on my portlift, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think health and safety would be knocking on my door. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's raspberry flavours coming through, the blackberries coming through, but, yeah, it's a real sour. It's lovely. I absolutely love it. Mm. Uh, that is brilliant. Well, where's the stone the crow? So we do stone the crow. Stone the crow. <laughs> stone or, the crow. Or a struth or something like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is lovely. I really like that. A bit gassy. I can feel it bubbling up. Yeah, I think so. Um, I've just eaten a pizza. Uh, so yeah, I can feel it, it's just going to remove some of that. Uh, yeah. That's another thing with a beer. I like if, if I've eaten too much food, I can wax something carbonated down. And it, and it gets it up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It releases everything up. Lots of people saying this fantastic feed. Um, they're glad to see the blue van man on. Um, hi from Finland. I've got people in watching. So, um, sorry, it's all right. The dog's licking the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was eating something. <laughs> that bloody doodle. <laughs> uh, and so Paul Donaldson said, it, So is that why carding's so horrible? Uh, because it's made from sour milk. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> Carl is just one of them you're down in one, isn't it? It's just nothing. Mm -hmm. So this is great. If you if people aren't drinking this, if you haven't got, if you're watching this and you haven't got any, you've got to get some. It really is nice. It is just a lovely, refreshing summertime drink. It's ideal barbecue weather this for drink. Dave, I mean, at this stage, I, it would be fantastic um, to see, now that Tesco have launched this whole range of beer, it'd be great to see some of these beers on your channel. It, it, yeah. Some of these beer reviews. There's a lot of people, there's a big buzz about it, a lot of people excited about it. I think I think you could do a really good, well, you've been doing beer reviews. but Yeah, I've done a few, done a few, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some of the craft stuff, um, I think, would, would go down really well on your channel. But yeah, yeah. Well, it's an exciting time for beer. Yeah, uh, I found out today Morrison's have launched a new. Yeah, I've, yeah, you said yeah. I've, 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 that'll be interesting because I like Morrison's. It, I find Morrison's more palatable to what my needs are. It's um, proper stodgy food, and they just do good stuff. So I will keep my eye out for that. Absolutely, I, I'm more of a Morrison fan as well than a Tesco fan. If I'm yeah. Right. You, you walk around Tesco, you put everything in, the, in your trolley, and you get to, you get to pay, and it's how much? It's yeah, like, it oh. is. It is, definitely. And, you know, I've, I've been slating Tesco's just lately, but um, Morrison's, they seem to keep it on an even keel, where Tesco's, they've lost that edge. They've, mm. You know, they don't seem to care. Absolutely, absolutely. I tell you, uh, another supermarket is, well, they're not quite a supermarket, but they sell all sorts. Um, they've shot up from nowhere. Is that B&M bargains? Oh, that, don't talk to me about that. I spend half my time in there. It, me too. It's really good. We, we've had yeah. them in Culver, in Cardiff. Yeah, it is. It is really, really good. I love home bargains and B&M and all that. It just, if you go in and you're prepared to hunt around, you can find some really good home bargains, you know, bargains for your home. I, I often say that you can find some good bargains for your home. I wonder how they thought the title up. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, it's brilliant. Just get, and you go down to the beer section, and they've just got loads and loads of different stuff. It's brilliant, absolutely yeah. brilliant. Some of it's a pound a bottle. You can't go yeah. wrong. With it. You can't go wrong with it, can you? If you don't like it, well, you drink it anyway. 
Blue Van Man Cup full English uh, Morrison's in store review. Oh, somebody wants you to have a full English breakfast in Morrison's. Yeah, I, I fancy doing that. Uh, I don't know that I could put up with people watching me eat, though. I know people watch me eat now, but yeah. they might all start gathering around the table, and getting it all down my front and everything. I, <laughs> not a pretty sight. Yeah, but I, 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 I've been thinking about that. I've got oh. loads of stuff up here that, you know, I want to do. So I, I will try it. <laughs> Brilliant. So, I, well, my request you would be, I would love to see some craft beers on your channel. But you've had a real, really, really another good week. A really another good week. You're up to 37,000 subscribers what? now, yeah? I can't see the attraction in some fat, bold bloke. I can't see. It's absolutely terrific. It's terrific what's happened. 37,000, I mean, once you get to 40, it's just, it's, it, it creates a snowball effect. It's just going to... Yeah, be well, good. hopefully I can I can pull you along with me, mate. I can, with these little things we do, I'll pull you along and uh, we'll get there. Thank you very much. I'm much appreciated. Much appreciated. Thank you very I'm much. I'm all for helping everybody out. I'm, there's, there's a few I'm watching on YouTube and I'm trying to help them along as well. So it's, it's all good. Let's just try and work together. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be good to... Start. I mean, the, the, to, to collaborate like that, this is fantastic. I'm sure you've had... You've had a lot of other channels saying, can we collaborate? Can we do... There is words pop up, and I'm, I'm there for anybody. I'll, I'll, I'll help. I know what it's like to be down there, and my me, me kid was saying, oh, Dad, you're embarrassing me. And then all of a sudden it took off, and now they can't... They're, they're talking about it at school, so it's, it's, it's good. Oh, yeah. it's absolutely ter terrific. And it's, it's something, I mean, for me, it's, i got three girls myself, so, so for me, i, I got to choose which one wants to take... I have the snip the after one. <laughs> <laughs> <Can't fault> it. <laughs> it's an easier life isn't it? <laughs> but i'm just wondering which one wants it you know I, 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 yeah. I retire but that that's that's the thing a bit like the belgian breweries they pass the business down to their kind of son or daughter and that's been going yeah. on for 600 years in belgium if you think about that in our, with our kind of YouTube channels to pass it down, it's only going to grow. It's never going to go into, into contraction. It's always going to get right. bigger. Yeah. And you've left, you've left your children something fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Well, hopefully my kid will take this on with me. Mm. You know, they will take this on and we will do a, like, a, a father-daughter thing. So it'll be good. Uh, we've got some, some of the two absolute YouTube legends. Uh, really good to see the Blue Van Man. Uh, <laughs> and uh, take off proper blog just doing proper reviews none of this nonsense uh the most ambitious crossover in the history of youtube <laughs> <laughs> uh legends uh we got some had some brew dog hazy james last night they blew my head off uh you two should have a weekend on the booze and do loads of reviews together <laughs> i have to have a new kid now <laughs> I mean, I'll have to come up to... Well, you mentioned there's a lot of craft bars in Leicester. I'll have to come up to Leicester one time and we'll have a, a, a YouTube kind of drink of yeah. around the town. Um, how's the old Trials Fusions going? No, that's one of the computer guys. I don't really play it anymore, to be honest. Um, cheers, everyone. That's all right. Should we caught up with the comments? Mine's um, gone. I've done it. I've got... <laughs> Let's smash this back here. <laughs> yeah. But just to recap, really sour, really mouth. It was, it was, it was, it was one of them that's that. It, it is what I love drinking Andrew's liver salt because, in a way, I don't like it. And does that sound right? I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I love drinking it fast, quick, and that's it. And that, although I do like the taste of it, it's got the same texture and the same feeling as it goes down. So it's lovely. I'll be doing that again. Fantastic, fantastic. And I love you... that can. The can's brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely yeah, brilliant. I'll be able to grow some green beans in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Leicester is a fantastic place for a curry. You must yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got a punk X fun for your recommendations. Oh, pardon me. Uh, crack it open later. Joseph Gallagher saying, how would you order supermarkets for craft beer range test when as the streets ahead of Sainsbury's, Waitrose and Morrison's, I'd say. How would you... Or how would we put in order the supermarkets? 
Tesco at the moment have just take, taken this giant. We were talking about this in the last live stream. They've taken this massive leap now into the unknown Tesco with this craft beer. Looks like Morrison's of are, are, are close behind. And yeah, you can get some decent stuff in Waitrose and Saint. Yeah. But it looks like for me at the moment, Tesco's and Morrison's of yeah, leap. yeah, they've got it. These 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 big uh, supermarkets, they've got to move with the times, haven't they? Because if you yeah. don't, they'll just get left behind and. They need proper people thinking up there. I've always said uh, the problem with uh, British industry at the moment is the management's crap. Yeah. And, you know, it's like Debenhams has gone under just because the management, super dry is struggling. Yeah. Bad management. It's got nothing to do with the workforce or anything like that. They're just not moving with the times. And Tesco's hopefully will move with the times. I tell you what, I've got an interesting one for you here, Dave. Um I've been doing these Tesco beers now, and, and there's a lot of people for it because it's brought the price down. Normally, you pay for a 440 can like this, you'd pay about, yeah. you could pay up to four or five pound a can for this. Tesco's got it down to three pounds. Yes, yeah, yeah. A lot of people are happy about that. And then there's, then there's a few people out there, I'd say 10% are saying, what about the bottle shops? What about your craft beer shops that have opened? They've invested all the money now into this, and all of a sudden, Tesco stood on. Um, they, they, their toes a little bit and somebody also said because i asked them their opinion on, on on what they thought of this craft beer from tesco and somebody said ask a milk farmer what he thinks of tesco so mm. it's what what where do you sit with that dave um me personally i'm happy i can get a craft beer now for three pound um, yeah but that i suppose in one way there's a few ways of looking at it um Somebody might go to Tesco's and try a craft beer for three quid and then think, oh, I like that. I'll yeah. go somewhere else. And, and it might open the market up. It might be a piggyback to these other places. Yeah. Um, uh, you say ask about a farmer. Round our way where I work, um, there's a place called Old Dolby, and they've just started selling milk in a vending machine from the cow that morning. You go in with your bottle yeah. and you put it in the vending machine, you put your quid in, and really? you... It comes in the bottle like that. It's brilliant. So that's just gone off the subject completely there, isn't it? That's like, <laughs> yeah, that's brilliant. It's absolutely it's fresh milk. It's, in it's fact, brilliant. if you look, I'm not saying to look in my videos because I want you to look at me, but um, I have done a review on this farm that does the milk. It's oh, absolutely, well, and it tastes, it tastes of milk. That sounds stupid, but it tastes of milk. And these, uh, like I say, if these shops do do this for three quid, it will lead, hopefully, fingers crossed, it will lead on to these other places that do this proper craft beer. So, I don't know. It's a tough one. I think so. I think, I think you're right. That's what I've mentioned is the fact that it's a stepping stone onto greater things, I think. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. we got two now at 7.5%. Oh, I know. I want to watch the football in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Who's playing? Come on, you foxes. <laughs> well, unless they're playing tonight, are they? Yeah, they've got Newcastle. Right, okay, let's get these rattled off then. Oh, no, it's all right, we don't worry. I would rather do that. Well, I don't, I'll, I'll, I'm enjoying this, so you take your time, son. Don't race for me. Okay. I've got it on Sky, I can pause it. <laughs> Perfect, Yalamu. Uh, sorry, um, this is the Double Dry Hot IPA from Wildcard Brewery. Yeah, I've heard about this Wildcard Brewery. They're supposed to be quite good, aren't they? I've... I think this might be my first beer from them, Dave. They've seen is it? Well, I've not had one, but I've actually heard good things about them, so... I've got the old uh, Rover's Return mug out. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. The old speckle mug. That's traditional kind of bitter drinking. Do you know what? I went round the uh, charity shops in Loughborough looking for one of these. Brilliant. And I found two for 50, uh, 50p each. They're, they're, they're coming back into fashion quite yeah. a bit, these, these, these glasses, definitely. Apparently they hurt when they hit you around the back of the head. <laughs> I imagine. I imagine. <laughs> right. That looks a bit cloudy, don't it? It's is it is that how it's supposed to be? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, lots of dry hopping, so the hop hop leaves a little bit of residue in the glass. It's going to be hazy. We yeah. got one finger white head, good carbonation. Yeah. Yeah, it looks really good. Um, should we get our noses in? See what yeah. We oh, a bit citrusy again, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Some orange and lemon and stuff in there, isn't there? Have you ever done any kind of brewing, Dave, in your in your past? Any kind of um, wine making? Or years something? and years ago, my dad and I we had a go with the old airing cupboard in the bucket. That's it. Yeah, yeah. it was crap. 
But when you basically, what do you mean by double dry hopping? When you when you put it when you put the yeast in and then you put the lid on the bucket, it's basically go in there with hop, which is the stuff that flavors it, over the next kind of like few days and just yeah. chucking opening the lid and chucking more flavor in. All oh, right. So what dry hopping means it means that you're just adding the hops later on at a later stage. All oh, right. So you like my granddad says you learn something every day. Yeah, exactly so. that. Exactly that. Chin chin, Dave. Let's dive in. Cheers, Cocker. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Very citrusy, that one, isn't it? Very citrusy. It's got a lovely body to it. Do you find from the Berliner Weiss that was really kind of refreshing and thin? This is more, you really get the malt texture. Yeah, you do. Yeah, definite. Thick, almost soupy, like. Yeah, it is. It's a bit, I don't know, like a, I don't know, like you've got a bit of a syrup or something on your tongue. It, I, can, I know what you mean. It's hard to explain, obviously. You've obviously got the right words to say this. You've. Uh, <laughs> doing it for a while really yeah really um but what helps is the carbonation i think if it wasn't carbonated it would be really thick and heavy and yes um yeah it would you're right there it does need that them bubbles to exactly give just it the a life bit, a bit, release it a bit on the palace but then for me i'm picking up a, a bit of orange peel grape yeah peel. there is it is, yeah. It's like the orange peel I spoke of last time when you were at school and you used to eat the orange peel. Yeah, absolutely. But again, it's it's one of these beers, 7.5%. Pardon me. It's, you could whack this back and, and, and yeah, a, a Belgian cafe. You go to these Belgian cafes, they don't really put the alcohol by volume on the board. You end up drinking a few of these beers. You get up to use the toilet or you get up to pay and leave and you, you go flat on your yeah. I used to drink loads of Boom years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, truth. I don't know how I got home sometimes. Good job I had the car. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> Just joking, yeah. As long as you didn't scratch the door with your key when you were trying to get the key in the door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're about. I was a good lad. <laughs> they say clothes were night, don't they? <laughs> That's it, yeah. <laughs> Um, let's get a couple of comments in from you. I see they're going crazy yet. Um, Lagany, this 12th year, 79p for 330. Can, is that in home bargains or something like that? Um, uh, this is great. Oh, it's regular viewing. Uh, my spliff tastes like a lemon one. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, what's he on? But obviously he's on a spliff. <laughs> uh, the first dry hop, uh, if early, goes under hop bio transformation. That's new to me as well. Uh, due to yeast fermentating, which makes it juicy. And the second fermented uh, so dry hop stage is for pure aroma. So there you go. Juice and aroma in the yeah yeah. Even me, I've, I've been doing this nine years, Dave. I've still never read read a book about beer. I've just learned from YouTube. I've learned from yeah. comments, and I'm still learning today. Yeah, I um, can understand. I can believe that. Yeah, you learn so much from YouTube's nowadays. It, it, it's just a waste of time with books, isn't it? I mean, I'm not being funny at all, right? And um, and they're saying like all these libraries are shutting down. You don't need them. No, you really. <laughs> Everything's don't. here on a tablet or a what a Kindle or whatever. Isn't it? It's there. They, they, they say, I think that's a part of what happened with Debenhams, do you think? It was just, they were so slow joining this kind of... Yeah, dead rock. Yeah. I mean, it's the thing is, if Mike Ashley can see what's happening, I mean, I think he's rubbish with a football club, in theory, but yeah, he's, he knows how to run a business. You don't get that rich through being an idiot, so... Yeah, it's a bit of a shame. It's a bit yeah. of a what's happened to him he lost all that money didn't he when they were yeah, he lost 30 million what was prepared to put 120 in <laughs> yeah exactly exactly yeah um well so where are we with this beer it's going down really well um if you, if you rock rock your beer back and forth dave you can see the body of the beer you can yeah just by that carbonation it's sort of kind of like fighting its way to get to the top yeah I know what you mean, yeah. It's showing, it's showing that kind of 
thickness of the, of the, of the malt that's in there, if you like. Yeah, you can taste the thickness, can't you? It is nice. It is, um, I mean, I'm not normally a fan of these citrus drinks. I've um, gone off them, but for some reason, I do like that. And that's not just because I'm sitting here on a stool in my garage talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> it's just thick and, yeah, it's just really thick and lovely. Um, well, I suppose while we're, while we're here talking, uh, what's your, what have you got coming up, Dave, in the next week on your channel? Uh, I've got um, I've got some slab. I've got some more slab crisps. Um, I have apparently um, I've got a chocolate vagina coming towards me to try out. <laughs> uh, I've, uh, I've just been and seen. Uh, I've just been and seen Uncle Steve. I don't know if you've seen Uncle Steve, and uh, obviously the video. I yeah, he's, uh, he should be watching now, Uncle Steve. Well, he's listening. Yeah, um, and. Um, uh, I've just told him and my auntie, who, Auntie Sue, who's also blind, and they says, well, what's it like then? I says, well, Sue, if you put your hand on your own bit, that's what it's like. It's a chocolate one. Yeah. Don't go near the fire or it'll melt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I've got that. Um, I've got some, I've got loads of bits, bit, bits and bobs, but I'm on nights this week, so I can only really do anything Wednesday, Thursday. So, but apart from that, every, I've got loads of stuff. I suppose it, for the youngsters who are watching, uh, you know, um, if it, 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 it's, it's a bit of practice, isn't it? If you leave any teeth marks in the chocolate, you've got it all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the one I've got coming is apparently got cream, uh, you know, the cream egg, chocolate cream egg. <laughs> yeah. That filling is inside the vagina. Okay. <laughs> How do they think these things up? And then they get somebody like me to... Uh, yeah, it's vag vagina, vagina, or uh, I can't remember. It's uh, it's funny. Look it up. Chocolate vaginas. I tell you what, I'd like to see see you do, Dave, on your channel. Have you seen the the pack out the one chip challenge? Or something? I have got that in line. That is coming up. I will be doing that uh, in the summertime. I've got that planned. It is uh, somebody. Well, there's quite a few people told me I've got to do the one chip challenge. So. I I'm will do it. Myself. Um, I just go all red in the face. and. Uh... So you've tried it. You've done the one chip no. challenge. No, no. I'd, like to. I'd like to, but I've not, I've not done it. No, no. No, I'm going to have a go. I will do it. Uh, the, the, the public are crying out for it. I think uh, when you do these live feeds, Dave, the YouTube's a bit, You've got to, it leaves it to you to show comments. Yeah. It's it's a bit well, what if nanny state and it? it's a bit PC. So yeah. I've, I've had to kind of and they've only used the word vagina. I've had to I've had to allow a load of comments because they've used the word vagina. It's, it, it's all YouTube is really? a little bit, I suppose. It's it's tightening. It's um. It, it's absolutely pathetic. I, it amazes me how we actually got to twenty nineteen without all this PC rubbish. It it really does amaze me that we've got this far in life. It's I, well, I mean. I, I suppose we better be quick on this subject, but it's meant it's, it's worth mentioning. It's, it's Nigel Farage launched a, a I know. party today. What's Brexit party. party. Um, I, I don't know how you voted, and I won't ask you. Mm. Um, and I'll well, I say that the, the result was we should leave. The, the result said leave, and I can't understand why we're messing around too much. I just think there's so many politicians who think they sound important and who haven't got an absolute clue what they're on about. Unbelievable how yeah. he has got this far, personally. Yeah. But I think it's ruined the Conservative Party. Oh, definitely, yeah. It's certainly... Uh, I think Theresa May's done a tremendous job of ruining the, uh, the Conservative Party. I think they all have. I think they've all ruined each other. Yeah. And uh, I haven't... Uh, I don't know. I, to be fair, I haven't really got a lot of time for any of them now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of people say an absolute mess. Skipper, I agree. Uh, leave means leave. Um, YouTube has become too PC. Yeah, I kind of agree. Uh, having to having to accept comments because they've used that word is, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, as a Conservative member, I'm scrapping it for the Brexit party. Completely ruined it. Um, so there's a lot of people who uh, agree. Yeah. I, think, I think you get to a certain age, don't you, Dave, where you... <sighs> Everything kind of becomes crystal clear. You know, what am I trying to say? Um, well, I see things as black and white. Yeah, yeah. And there's too many people out there that make things complicated. Football is a very simple game, but it's made complicated by idiots. And life is simple, but it's just made complicated by idiots. Yeah. And these yeah. people at Westminster are just 
idiots. They're just all complete idiots. Absolutely. Well, I, I personally, I, I say to my wife, we must be the laughing stock of the world. Yeah. We must yeah. be. We must be. Yeah. Anyway, it's, it's, yeah. But anyway, I think maybe that was a quick... I think we have to cover the cover a lot. Well, we do. I mean, I'll, I'll just say one thing, right? I can't believe they've taken no deal off the table. That is the only bargaining chip they had, and they've taken it off the table. Yeah. What are you yeah. going to do now? You've got nothing to deal with. So. You've got, you're going into the negotiations like this, isn't you? Well, yeah. Like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You are. It's absolutely ridiculous. So yeah. there you go. Also, we'll be losing viewers now over that Brexit. <laughs> Normally, oh, well, we got. We've got about 100 people watching at the moment. Which cool. Is, is that good? Yeah it's, yeah, it's really good. For a Friday night, it's pretty good. Um, a lot of people kind of out drinking and, and whatever. Yeah. Um, people want us to comment about Julian Assange. Julian Assange. Um, I, is he the one that smeared his own muck on the wall? Did you read that? Before no. he left, he, uh, he had a bit of a dump and then wiped it on the wall. Did he really? So that's what the reports are saying. Or the, the, the lady who reported it said she can't say if it was his own feces or somebody else's. Oh, but, well, but in the embassy, he did that in the embassy. Yeah, I think he did that. I think that was the final straw that uh, broke the camel's back. And uh, yeah, but uh, as, as for him, I don't know. He's, he's been a naughty boy, isn't he? I mean, yeah. I mean, obviously people do want to know these things, but they're secret for a reason. And I don't think for... You can go releasing secrets and stuff like that. And the I don't know if he did commit that rape, he uh, he should be punished for it. If he didn't, he should stand trial and clear his name. That's how I think about it. And a guilty man is hiding like that. It's that's how I look. At it. I don't know. People are saying time for the next beer. Let's move on. The, so right, I want us to kind of talk. I was just down this and stuff. And some people want us to. Uh, um, <sighs> Brexit will cause beer prices to rise. Not if you make your own. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings from Poland. Hey, Poland. Uh, yeah, I love Poland. Beautiful place. From, and then the Poland. Beer. What's the best sausage in Poland? I want to try the best sausage because we've got a load of Polish people living over here. I need to know what the best Polish sausage is. Get on my channel or drop me a note and a note of what the best sausage is. That'd be fantastic. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um. I'm trying to think of the name of it now. Oh, Kiabasa. It's a Kiabasa. I pick my. I can pick them up in Lidl's or Aldi. Yeah. In the right. the deli section where they sell the ham and the cheese and stuff. Well, in in Loughborough, we've actually got a Polish shop, and I wanted, but I want to know what the Polish person says, and not what the shopkeeper wants to sell me. Okay, brilliant. Um, I'm, I'll wait. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, Nomad is in. It's Kia. Bassa Slaska. Right. Uh, I'll, I'll, what I'll do, I'll, I'll send you a text message once. Okay. Yeah. If that's all right, if that's what the Polish people want, I will uh, I will give them my opinion on their sausage. Oh, could be out. Could be out. What are they saying? Uh, Polish sausage, get loads of flavour, get a cabernet, uh, much better than a pepperoni. Okay. Um, best Polish brewery. Um, I think uh, Pinta. Bravo Pinto, yeah. best brewery, Polish brewery. Uh, YouTube did a Polish store video a few weeks back. That would be good. Uh, yeah. Show, a, show around your, your Polish store. Well, I've got a mate at work, uh, Mario, and uh, you're all thinking he's Italian, but he ain't. He's Polish. And uh, he's, he, he's always, I'm, I'm always asking him questions because it's just nice to know different, you know, you know, just get on with it. <laughs> it's good to know. Uh, people are saying we should do this every fortnight. Do you know, it's quite a good thing. I, I'm enjoying it because... I am, yeah. We've only ever met over the internet, and we seem like we've got a lot of the same interests. And generally, two people having a beer, two strangers having a beer. And it yeah. was one of these things where I got to know beer over, over doing these YouTube videos. Yeah. Now, it could be about kind of two guys... It, it could, but we could turn it into like a, a once fortnight like beer. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Yeah, I, if the if the public wants it, we'll do it, won't we, you? Absolutely. Yeah, totally agree with that. Let's should we crack the yellow boo? Yellow boo. So Thornbridge Brewery, one of the most renowned, probably one of the first craft brewers in the in the UK to really produce some terrific beer. 
Uh, I'm a massive fan of the brewery Thornbridge. Um, they're based in Derby, where I think it is. All oh, right. Oh damn! I've, you know what? I've just thought of something. There. There's a brewery in Leicester, and I wanted to go and have a chat with him, and uh, I forgot all about him. I get these many things coming through my head. It's unbelievable. It's because I've got no air. It all just floats out the top. <laughs> Yeah, that would be amazing to 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 a little brew. Yeah, on your, I've on got your to do that now. That's just come back into my head. Yeah. Oh, that smells citrusy again. Which smells? It's not as strong as citrusy as the other one. I smell. It's uh, it's just got an itch. I think, as somebody mentioned, so when they double dry hopped it, they did it for the aroma, for the smell. They they really could. They really kind of put them hop flowers in to really yeah. make a big punch of. So this one's not. Not dry yeah. or dry hop. So well, that's that means I've been obviously smelling it right then. You, you, yeah, you're perfect on this one, Dave. You're absolutely perfect. It's more. I, I see more a little bit dry, like a white grape or something going on in there. Yeah, yeah. A bit more bittery. I've had a swig of that while you were smelling it. It's a bit more bittery. Mm. I think a bit more dry. Uh, people say it's a really nice beer. It's a ten out of ten. Um, loving the citrus theme. Let's dive in. Let's dive in. Yeah. Yeah. I see a little bit less. It's not as thick. Malty. No. Malty is the other one. It's a little bit more, I'd say, refreshing and drinkable. Yeah, it's not as, I don't know, it's just a bit more tamer on the tongue or something. I don't know, it seems, it's nice. But, but then again, I think there's, a, there's more bitterness. It's it's more on the back end, right as the flavours yeah. in, it's producing like a like a cloyney, I don't know if you're getting that, that cloyney bitterness on the back of your palate. Yeah. I just, Do you think we should be rinsing our mouths out with water like uh, between each drink or? Do you know, that's a really good question, Dave. It's a really good question. When I go beer judging... Um, I go judging uh, for Ludlow and for Camera. Um, they'll they'll actually serve you jugs of water, and um, the best ones are, are the crackers. What they call the Jacob's crackers. All right, yeah. They're really dry, and they, they'll completely strip your palate and reset. It's all a well. There you go. That's one for the future. Yeah, yeah. So maybe we get some Jacob's crackers. Yeah, I've actually forgot to bring my food today. Have you got anything, Dave? To, to... No, I didn't bother. I've just had a big, massive um, fajita thing. The wife had cut with egg and onions, and it was very nice. It was very, very nice. Will we one day see uh, Mrs. Blue Van Man with a bit of cooking? Uh, no, she won't. Uh, she don't mind the voice coming in, but you won't see her. She's uh, she's. Quite a private lady, so geez, uh, I, where I meet, I love. I've always been the class clown. At school, I was the complete idiot. Uh, through my whole life, I've I've not craved attention, but I I don't know. There's just something about it where I have to be. I don't know. It's quite embarrassing, really. To be fair, I I, so. I, I shared yours. I share that 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 thought with you. To be honest, I when you found YouTube and when you started doing youtube after getting over the first few videos where you may have had butterflies in your stomach i always remember the first video i always did i kind of press record on the webcam and, I, and you, you watch the video and you can see me gulp like Ooh. yeah <laughs> and then and then i started talking and didn't really know what i was talking about with the beer back then but um yeah it was that the butterfly it took me about four or five videos for the butterflies to go yeah, go yeah. and then I became, as you mentioned, I became this like the stone, the crows, the the yeah. Christ on a bike or whatever. I yeah, it, it's it's good into it. Yeah, it, it's second nature. To be fair, I mean, my first one was Harry's razors, so yeah. that's a good one to do in it and cut myself or something while I'm shaving in front of all these people in my bloody vest because I didn't want to show my body off. And that, not that I didn't want to show my body off, I just you know it's not a best thing, but. Uh, yeah. So I know what you mean, but from that day and then you start getting good comments from your mates who have watched it and you build and build and build and now it's, it's just amazing. It's really good. So, Yeah, I think um, with you, with yourself now, with the, the, the amount of comments, I think you read a lot of your comments. So I watched a newspaper, pardon me, I watched your newspaper review 
Where I actually, um, I actually agreed with a lot of the stuff you said, to be honest. Um, it's common sense. It's just common sense. That's why. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, and you do. You find I find myself like on my break or when I've got five minutes to bed, you'll just thumb through on your phone, thumb through the comments. Yeah. Just, just read what's coming through. And 95% of it's positive, isn't it? It's yeah, it's, it is on my thing, it is. And um, it, it's nice. There's a lot of people out there who actually do think like me. So, I mean, I've had this stupid thing where somebody's trying to get me on this morning with Holly and bloody Philip Schofield. No, that ain't going to happen because I'm... I'd be too busy telling them the truth. <laughs> Do you know, Dave, um, I often thought, what, what would it be like with, what, if the TV cameras come in? And they did They did come for, for a little while. Um, I, I did a little bit of TV with the BBC, BBC Wales. Um, I did a little bit to begin a, a couple of months ago on Cardiff TV. Do you know the regional TV station? Yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. Like, so I did something for Cardiff TV. And do you know what you find... Do you know, like when you first learn to ride a bike? Yeah. When you first learn to really drive your van, your, your, your blue van, we'll call it, and it becomes natural, it becomes second nature. It's a bit like when it becomes second nature here on the on, on your channel. It can be a camera this big on a on a smartphone, or it can be a great big lens with somebody behind it. As soon as you got over that kind of initial butterfly nervousness. Yeah. What I'm trying to say here, Dave, is I think you would do great on on on, on Holly and Philip Schofield. Yeah, yeah. You've got I, I, that. And that's nice of you to say so. That is nice of you to say so. Um, yeah. The thing is, I. Uh, it's almost like YouTube it, giving you the training wheels. Like, yeah. It, the problem is, I do tend to say what I see. Brilliant. And I, and. And, I, and that's what it is. And so it, it's a bit hard sometimes. You have to rein yourself in. I mean, Ricky Gervais, I was watching him on YouTube last night, and uh, he was saying things like, he, nobody can offend him. No, no, there's nobody can offend me. You can do whatever you like. I, I, I just don't care. Because I'll always have a smarter answer to come back with. And um, that's my problem. I, sometimes I do actually say, and uh, I can't shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um. The beer hooligan said, I think most blokes would do great on Holly. Uh, I, I don't know what he means by that. <laughs> uh, uh, I, do you think Holly Willoughby looks like a blow-up doll sometimes? She does, yeah, yeah, I think Yeah, so. it's, and that's what I can't get out of my head. It's like, well, I don't know. It's just where Fern on thingy with uh, Keith Lemon, I think I like Fern. I don't know. It's, oh, perhaps I'm just weird. I don't know. <laughs> I like your I like your weather girl, me the um your Carol what's her name Carol. Um, oh yeah, the blonde girl on um BBC News. Yeah, <laughs> That's it, yeah. Bit a bit mature, you know. Chest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ellen Mirren's mine. She can be seventy five for all I care. I'd still like Ellen Mirren. Yeah, yeah. I think Carol Vorderman as well. She's she yeah. good work, hasn't she? Mm, yeah. <laughs> I think the beer stand at all. Now. Yeah, I think my missus might be listening. So let's jog on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris, 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 whatever it's in uh, the blue van man. What is your rating out of ten for the yellow move? Um, I don't know. That's probably seven point five. Mm. It's it's really good quality craft beer. Yeah, three pound a can. A lot of people are discussing um, that these breweries have actually brewed at a cost of not making a profit out of it. The, the margins so kind of tight on it. Um, but that's not. You think, do they pay? A, do these little breweries? Do they pay a less tax or something like that? Or do, you know, are the government actually helping them, or are we having this stupid tax still because it's a, a strong beer? Will they tax them more because it's a strong beer? And some people can't handle the beer. Well, um, absolutely. That that's exactly what you you got it bang on the nail on the head. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, the nail on the head, that's the thing. I'm definitely the effect of this 7.5% beer now. But yeah, um, basically it was it's it's a relief. It's a tax relief on small brewers. It was to try and because the, the industry was falling and falling and falling, and now all of a sudden there's breweries everywhere. Yeah, it, it's great. Like I said, I'm actually gonna to go to Syston. Um, if anybody is watching me who's in the Leicester area, uh, there's a brewery in Syston called the Pharmacy uh, beer. The pharmacy Beer pharmacy, and uh, 
it's brilliant in there. Absolutely brilliant. So if anybody is around Syston area, get there and give you support. And I want to go in and actually interview him on camera and then put it on my channel. So that would be really good. Good. I'd be the first one watching that one. I'd really enjoy that. Yeah. I like to the I bet they do local food in there as well, like a local hot dog or they they, they paired up with a butcher from Leicester. Yeah, I bet it's it's, it's just great. Yeah, it, 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 it's it's these little breweries that are popping up, and they we uh, you know we really have got to support them. So it, it it's just the thing is, if we don't support the little businesses in the high streets, it's all just going to be boarded up. Yeah, and it's you know what I mean, it's going to be dead. So absolutely, absolutely. Um, let's get a couple of more comments. Um, Simon's pissed. I agree. <laughs> uh, the agree with what? What's he agree with? <laughs> Uh, I said someone said Simon's pissed, so I, I said yes. Oh I right, I got you. <laughs> it never, uh, people people know me. You know, I've drunk over five thousand beers, Dave, but my beer tolerance has always been quite low. And then, uh, do you know what, right? When I was a kid, um, when I was a kid, uh, my uncle Jack and them, they always used to make me drink beer when I was like twelve, thirteen, and stuff to get me ready to be a man. Yeah. that's what it were. Drink this, lad, or you'll <laughs> make an idiot of yourself. And, uh, <laughs> Jacob Wright is from uh, Loughborough. He All said, right. "Would you like to meet us for a pint when you're in, when you're next in the area?" But I think we can sort some of that out. Yeah, um, I'm not promising anything though because of my shifts, and I've got big things happening at the moment. But yeah, I'd like to meet up sometime. Uh, oh, so Neil Long is saying hello. Uh, went crazy in Tesco Extra. I was so excited. Uh, I went slightly over budget. That's the thing. I, I was I was the same as the, uh, these guys. When these were large, I bought everything. I bought one of everything. And it came to about 80 quid. And then... You put it on, <laughs> 80 quid. 80 quid. I don't like putting that in the van. Never mind. <laughs> so I've been kind of like excited. And I've been like smashing out all of these different Tesco beers. But I mean, for... For us, Dave, with the, we won't go into it. I don't think we're allowed to talk about the monetization on YouTube, but in the long run, we get that back through the through the videos. But to be fair, I, you know, I, I'm not uh, I'm not in this for the money. Uh, well, I am in the money for a bit because what I said to my daughter is that when I've got all the money uh, from this, I will buy her a MacBook. So yes, I am in it for the money for a MacBook, but I'm not in it for any. I'm not after that. It's just a hobby. That's all it is. It's a hobby. Yeah. Uh, Wiggy Man One Hundred says, uh, "Does the glass you drink out of make a difference to the enjoyment of the beer? And if so, why?" As so, long as the glass doesn't leak, yeah. I'm quite happy. <laughs> That's a really good answer. I like that. I like that. So, um, basically, Dave, over the years, people have, with the growth of craft beer, people have been designing new glassware. Yes. Oh, I've got you. Couple of I thought I said Doctor. Does that say Doctor Who? No. Doctor Brew. All oh, right. Because I thought oh, this Doctor Who's a big Cardiff thing, isn't it? And um, they got rid of Torchwood. Of it's gone. It's, they, they, they closed it down. <laughs> what they closed Torchwood? Down? I know it got blew up in the series, but they got rid of it. The the it was like a visitor centre. I think they got rid of. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> oh, joking. So the. I mean, just I won't bore people too much with this, but basically, what they decided was was that if you have a big bowl at the bottom to more or less hold the liquid, and then with it, it goes thin up the side and then lifts out on the on the top edge. It releases more aroma to the beer. Um, so then, uh, of course, as well, it looks nice in the glass, and you can rock it around. Again. So, so it's like the a port glass. Yeah, exactly like that, exactly like that. It, it, it kind of... But you're supposed to hold a port glass at the bottom, aren't you, to keep the to, the warmth of the port? That's it, yeah, yeah. To, to and you're holding it on the stem to keep it cool. Brilliant, you got it, you got it. I'm glad I said that, because it didn't look like you could say it. <laughs> I was pretty, yeah, again, um, the beer's going to my head a bit, <laughs> as you can see by the colour of my face. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, uh, you two guys need to do this uh, weekly. I think we've done it. We've done it every ten. We did so it on far. the third last time. We did it on the third of April. The last one. 
and now it's something like the 13th. The 12th, is it the 11th or the 12th? I think that works. You're very busy. I'm very busy. I reckon every 10 days to two weeks. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good to me. Most definitely, we could we could arrange this. And of course, you guys then get to know Dave. Um, you kind of know me. Um, and, and, and if we give them the beers that we're going to try, it gives them a chance to drink them with us as well. So exactly, absolutely, exactly. Yeah, I think that I think that's a winner. Do, do the people agree that them trying the beers with us is a good thing? Let's see yeah. what the comments come up. Yeah, people have people have been commenting all all the while here saying. Um, Enjoying the enjoying the reviews, drinking along with you, and they're giving their own ratings. So so good stuff. Up here for thinking, lads and lasses down here for dancing. Yeah, yeah. seven point five for you. I I join you on a seven point five. I think it's yeah. a tidy beer. Yeah, it's that's beer. good. That's good stuff. Uh, first beer I've watched, uh, nuts and ale. Uh, yes, I thought about that. I should have had a bowl of nuts. And and do you know what I, I I I always I don't mind pulling out comments as well that that I find quite funny. Um, my channel's called Real Ale Craft Beer. They clicked on it and then they commented, "Alcohol is bad." <laughs> <laughs> Who says? I get the jury out. You know, maybe they've come from your channel, and I, I I'm not laughing at people. I I really I would never. That was. Never, never. I'd laugh at, laugh at me, mate. It's, it's fine. Little laugh away. No, no, no. With the comment, um, yeah. The comment, alcohol is bad. I mean, I won't laugh at the, the people commenting, but it's a beer channel. What is bad about alcohol? What is bad about it? It's great. Yeah. Um, 10 out of 10 for me. I'll be buying the animal again. That's by Chris, whatever. Um, somebody wants us to start eating nuts with our beer. I, I don't have any nuts on me. No, me. I thought about that. I nearly bought some nuts and then I thought, well, you never know, actually mentioned uh, nibble, so I didn't bother. So, But next time we'll have nuts. Well, well, what we'll do is we'll give a menu of everything we're going to do, including the nuts, and then people can join everything. Perfect. Perfect. I tell you what, Dave, as it's hot, hot news at the moment... Maybe the Morrison Spears. Maybe we can announce it here on my channel, and then you make a further video. Yeah. Yours. Maybe we try some of these new Morrison Spears. I think there was a beer from this very brewery here, Thornbridge. Yes. That was just launched. Um, so what, what I'll do, Dave, I'll Google what's new. I'll yeah. You, I'll send you the list of what's new in Morrison's, and then and then we can we we can do a live feed of other new beers yeah. at Morrison's. Yeah, it sounds good. Uh, week of Monday's good for me, youth, if that's okay with you. Week of Monday. That's or good. Tuesday. 10 days, yeah, that, that, that's about 10 days. So a week Monday on this very channel, me and Dave will be back with a new Morrison's beers. Yeah. Um, we've rated this one. Dave, I imagine you want to go and catch the footy now. About what time is it? What have we got? Oh, it's all right. They'll still be talking rubbish. Okay, no, no worries. Okay. Um, just let me know if I'm gassing too much and you need to dash to watch. No, it. that's all right, mate. I'm all right. I'm okay. Don't worry. The kid will be watching the football. She'll fill me in on everything that's happening. Uh, I'm so pleased that my daughter has taken to football because, like, when I had a daughter, I thought, oh shit, that's the football gone. Yeah. But since the World Cup, um, she's taken into it, and uh, I took her to her first game against Leicester v Brighton, brilliant. and uh, it was brilliant. So. Oh, I've got a nerve jangling tomorrow afternoon. If we, I think if Cardiff lose this game, I think we're finished. I think we're Who you got tomorrow, mate? Burnley away. Ooh, that's a Burnley. tough one, though. Yeah, tough one. We need to win it. If we don't win it, I think that's us, us back in the, the championship. But he's been fined again, old Warnock, haven't he? <laughs> but his comments, have you seen? Yeah, but he took, to be fair to Neil, um, like I said in our other chat, I, I'm not a big fan of him, but the the football needs characters like him, and you do need blokes like Warner. He is a I can relate to Neil because um, he talks, he says what he thinks, and I'm the same. I'll say what I think, and if you don't like it, that's tough. The trouble is, he gets fined twenty grand or so. <laughs> but there's a part of me when I read that today that he'd been fined. I think he only called the referees the worst in the world, didn't he? I think that's what he said. That's his opinion. And as a democracy, we're, we're entitled to our opinion, surely. Yeah, oh, it, I thought so. Is it, bringing, is it bringing the game into disrepute? I don't think so. I think what it is that um, the truth hurts and some people don't like it, so they'll let you in the wallet. And the younger managers, they, they kind of, 
you listen to their interviews and it's almost like they, they're working. You can see them working their brain trying to, yeah. what are we going to say that's going to get me into trouble? Yeah. Where the old boys like Neil Warnock and uh, Roy... Yeah, but it was right. It was right. There were terrible refereeing decisions. They cost. They could cost Cardiff millions of pounds. And jobs as well. Isn't it? That's yeah. Like jobs. And, say, and saying sorry is not good enough. Sorry no. is not going to pay for whatever. If Cardiff have to lose a thousand or so jobs, because of refereeing decisions like that, I think Cook Warnock's got every right to say that. So, and yeah. it's the FA's fault for employing such pillocks. It's never mentioned, is it? The actual job. I seen that um, Sunderland thing on Netflix. Did you see that Sunderland? No, I've Netflix? heard about it. I want to try and catch it when I can. It's fantastic because, well, it's harsh. Um, one of the players, Rodwell, he was kind of he signed a big contract from Man City like a three-year deal for 75 grand a year. And they were having to, like, let go of the dinner lady who was being there 40 years. They couldn't pay her £200 because he wouldn't leave. Yeah. He wouldn't leave with that 75 grand a week or whatever. And they were, they were you see them, it was right behind the scenes with video cameras. The, the managers were kicking dustbins over. And well, that's down to bad management yeah. again. This is down. This is what I was saying. It's down to bad management again. British management is absolutely atrocious. They yeah. should be making things in place for when if such and such happens. Because at the same time, you can't blame Rodwell, can you? Because he's no, you can't. It's like Danny Drinkwater at Chelsea. Yeah, yeah. Why? Yeah. Why is he? He's probably on about two hundred grand a week. Why is he going to leave? He's not going to leave. He's going to play. He's just going to kick a ball out about in reserves, get drunk, and crash his car. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he going to leave? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly that. Exactly. It's bad management. Bad management. It is down to bad management. Um, former Wills, Mick McCarthy, one of the last hardy honest as well. Yeah, McCarthy. I'd agree with that. I'd agree with that. Whoever said that, I'd agree with that. That was Ronan Connell. Um, well said, Roland. I loved you in Grange Hill. <laughs> The pilot of the Salah light aeroplane didn't have night flying certification. I don't think he had any certification. I think he must have learnt it on a bloody PC spe uh, spectrum thing. It was shocking, Dave. I went round the terrible, shop. absolutely the terrible. I was round my local shop at seven o'clock in the morning buying buying some beer stuff for work. Yeah, yeah, that was it. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> <laughs> Buy, I was trying to buy some chocolate sweets uh, for work and um, there was whispers that because um, I heard about it in, the, in the night somebody had crashed their plane yeah. and by the morning it was this footballer who just signed for 15 can't years. believe it can you it's so sad it, oh. it's, it, I mean I tell you what when, when the chairman at Leicester died in that crash and you we played you guys away you lot were We've absolutely spot on and yeah. Two of Cardiff fans for that. Really touching. But it you can't believe it, can you? It's shocking. The year, the year that not oh just God. That, but the whole of football and the Premier League, the, what we've been through has been horrendous, really, haven't it? Yeah. Shocking. Absolutely so sad. So so sad. But there you go. Yep. Absolutely. Um can you ask Blue Van Man what he thinks of James Mc uh, sorry, James Madison? Uh, we had him on loan at Aberdeen, and he was dynamite. I don't know who James. Oh, I think uh, Claude Puel played him like an idiot, and I think that um, I went and seen him against the Brighton game, and and as soon as Claude had gone, yeah, you could see Madison had got a bit of confidence, and he was trying things, and he was doing things, and he was coming on, and. Under Brendan Rodgers, and I'm sorry to say this to Celtic fans, he's you know he's, he's a Leicester manager now. Under Brendan Rodgers, he's only going to get better. And I, I heard this stupid talk of him going to Arsenal. What's all that about? Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. But it, no, I, I Madison, I do, I did rate him when he came. I thought he went off the boil. That every player went off the boil under Claude Puel. I thought he was, you know, but under Rodgers, he's coming back. And yeah, I, I can, under, I can understand that Aberdeen, he was. Um, I like Aberdeen because I went on holiday in 1989 and I bought a Aberdeen shirt at cool. Donington Market because it was the only one that fitted me. 
and yeah. I get kept, kept being called a sheep shagger on holiday, and I couldn't work out why. <laughs> so if the Aberdeen fan can tell me why, why was that happening to me? I just haven't got a clue. Brilliant, brilliant. Um, Scotland, I've, I've been once to Scotland. Um, oh, I love it up there. On a flyby fight, flight. Yeah. <laughs> they got <on> bust. <laughs> yeah. You drank all the beer, didn't you? I drank, I drank all their beer up there, yeah. <laughs> Have you heard about this brood? Did I tell you about this Brewdog Airways? Um, where you get to drink beer on the on the aeroplane as much. Yeah, you said it. Is that the place that's got the shampoo as well and all that? That was it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. It sounds amazing. Story since then, and they didn't work the toilets outright, so they were feeding people beer for twelve hours. They had to shut the toilets for the last hour of the flight. They were overflowing. You're joking. <laughs> so shocking. They, so they've had to they've had to rework it now, where they may have to put a toilet in the middle of the plane just to just to get that last hour. <laughs> I'm taking the piss. Yeah, they're taking the <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. What have we got comment wise? Uh, I want chip, fish and chips. Uh, need some fish and chips. Uh, love haggis. Uh, oh, have you, Blue Van Man, have you had haggis before? Yes, and I absolutely love it. I thought it was brilliant. Love it. Uh, my, where my wife works at a meat wholesalers in Loughborough. Um, they they do a special thing for Burns Night, and uh, I absolutely love it. I thought it was brilliant. One of the best things I've ever had in my life. Do you how do you cook it, uh, Dave? Do you boil it? I don't know. I'll have to ask the wife. Okay, no worries. No worries. <laughs> um, people are asking, have we got the munchies yet? Uh, I'm okay. I'm, I'm fine. Not. I'm fine, to tell you the truth. I've, I've only got a sip left. Yeah. <laughs> I know we're running out. We are running out of, uh, out of beer here. Um, haggis is boiled, people are saying. Uh, yeah, I think it is boiled, isn't it? It is boiled. And don't you have it with uh, boiled pota boiled tatties or something oh, like that? I'm yeah, not sure. Yeah. Lovely. Lovely. And, and that's, I suppose that's just a, right up in Scotland back in the day would have been about using every bit of the animal, wouldn't it? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's lovely. It's absolutely. If you've not tried haggis, please try it. It is good. I think I've seen it in Morrison's. Yeah, they do it um, Burns Night and stuff like that, don't they? They, they get all the yeah. I'll, I'll do a Burns Night. I'll, I'll do some haggis, definitely. Yeah, well, I tell you what, we'll do haggis and we'll do scotch. Scotch, scotch whiskey. Yeah. Oh, that'll be that'll be a good night. That'll be a good night. <laughs> Uh, people are saying they're loving the live feed, uh, drinking the beers with us. Uh, oh, I did a, I released a pucker pie video today, Blue Van Man, and somebody oh, said, Oh, that's made in Sison, isn't it? That's made in Leicester. Oh, is it really? Pucker pies? Ah, right, okay. Yeah. I, I look at my place, his son is a uh, manager there or supervisor there at Pucker Pies. So. Oh, I tell you what, I, rather than me going on Wikipedia, What's the story? Were they a small firm? And because I see them, yeah, I think they were just a small firm. They're a small firm, and I think they just grew and grew and grew. I mean, I mean, pucker pies are mainly chip shops, aren't they? Do they do chip shops around your way? Beautiful. And I think they just grew, but um, they, I think they do football grounds as well now. And yeah. uh, I went down to watch Leicester play Arsenal many years ago, and they did pucker pies, and I opened the wrong end of the packet, and it all fell down my top. Oh no! And it burned. So that was my own fault for being an idiot, and I was pissed. <laughs> um, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. pucker pies are in Leicester, uh, Syston. Um. Oh, um, the beer hooligan saying, I reckon you two should do a beer and Welsh rarebit review. It's a bit like me uh, toast, isn't it? The other night, I mean, me, me tomatoes on toast. Yeah, we could do well. That is Welsh rabbit, isn't it? Uh, cheese on toast. Cheese on toast. That's our. That's our national. That's how sophisticated the Welsh get. Just a bit. Of yeah, well, ours is Corey. <laughs> <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Uh, again, we got. We're still holding on to a hundred people here. Uh, that's good. So many comments coming through. I got another one from Chris. Whatever is asking, ask the blue van man what he thinks about Jamie Vardy. Jamie Vardy. What isn't there to say about him? He he lives in a village near where I work, and uh, some of the lads have met him. And uh, the 
they reckon he's down to earth. He's just, he's a normal lad. He's just a normal lad. I like Rebecca. Um, a lot of people don't like her, but I do like her. I think she's all right. Um, I think she thinks of the new posh and Bex, but they're not. But um, Jamie is just a normal down to earth lad. And he, he runs his socks off, to be fair. He, yeah. he just tries and tries and tries. And he's like a, he could be a footballer who could play for your local team or he could play for Leicester City. And I would say most football fans would like him in their team because he just gives 100%. Yeah. Uh, does whoever's asked the question, do they agree? Do, would, you know, he just runs around. He has to, Leicester defend from the front. That's how they won the league. They defend from the front. With him and Okazaki pushing people down, Brilliant. that's how it worked. And that's how it won. That's how they won it. That was from Chris Whatever. So we'll wait for his comment to come on that. Um... I love Vardy. I think, you know, he's one of them. He's, just, he's, he's a working class bloke, a bit like myself, and I love him. Oh, OK, so Chris Whatever is, is now asking, ask the Blue Van Man, out of the three beers, can he put beer one, beer two, beer three in terms of rating? Do you know what, right? I'm going to surprise you now because I do like a fruity beer. Yeah. So I yeah. would have that one. I would have that one second and the red one third, the Yellman's third. Yeah. I don't know why because I'm not really a fan of citrusy beers as such, but that has got something about it that I really like. But that, I just, I think that's tremendous. Absolutely. I think that's more value for money than the other two. The, the, Sorry. The, 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 Sorry if you don't agree. No, I, told, I, I, I thought the Berlin advice was terrific. The sour, yeah. it was kind of punchy and fruity. And it's almost as if, coming to the end now, you want one of them just to... Yeah, it's a dessert. Yeah, exactly. Lift you, lift you, not lift you back up, but... But kind of like the the other two beers have been quite heavy. Yes, you're dead right, and that's a de that, that is like a dessert. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, what have we got now? Um, yeah, the, people have predicted that you would say exactly that. Um, also, the really, really, am I that transparent that people predict what I'm going to say? That is scary. Do you know? I think I think a lot of people who have drunk the beers have probably just agreed with what. That's their own kind of thought on the. Uh... Oh, who's going to win the league, Liverpool or City? Hold on, I've got a pound coin in my pocket. We'll toss it up, shall we? Yeah. Um, like that, I don't know. I'll, this is no disrespect to Man City. I would like to see Liverpool win it. Um, just basically for another team to be on the trophy. I would also like Liverpool to win it to shut. Uh, Man United fans up just keep going on and on and on and on and on yeah just to get there um, but Man City are absolutely tremendous they are absolutely a tremendous team I can't believe though that Mares went there and he's not getting on I, I mean if I'd have sat down here if you were Mares now I'd have said don't go mate because you ain't going to get a game yeah it's, it's incredible to think that he was, but he was a big core of that Leicester side. When you said yeah. the league, it was Mares to Vardy, if I remember rightly. Yeah, and Morgan, Morgan, and uh, oh shit, I forgot the defender's name. Hooth, Morgan, Hooth, Vardy, and Mares in the middle. Yeah, and the the Chelsea midfielder, what was his name? Who went? Who left? Drinkwater. Oh no, um, oh the little black guy. Oh, I can't remember his name. That's uh, that's embarrassing. That is so embarrassing. He yeah, was, did he, not he, in Diddy. He's still there. He was the yeah. big cog, apparently. Yeah, it was brilliant, weren't it? Absolutely brilliant. I, I should have my mate Bailey in now. He'd be slapping me around the head for not remembering. I remember. I, I know what you mean. Um, I'm not going to sit here trying to guess. So. No, 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 no. Let's move on. <laughs> Let's move on. Um, no doubt somebody will put it up and can't, call me an idiot. Can't, can't they? Can't they? And yes, he could, couldn't he? Yeah, he was good. He was a good player, a really good player. Um, I don't know this question. Uh, how much profit did they make on Mares? I don't, I don't know. 80 million, weren't it? So, 80 million they got, didn't they? So, I think they only paid 250,000 for him. That's incredible. It is, isn't it? It's paid for that new training ground we're getting. That just, and I think that's where the gap's coming in. The, the teams that are earning that kind of 100 million finishing last, 
they're able to build training grounds and first class facilities now where like Cardiff have built one and I think there's, there's going to be a point where the smaller clubs like your Barnets or your Lake Orients or your Tranmere's they're never going to be able to rise to the no, they're not. I can't understand, right? Uh, I, I mean, hopefully people who are watching this are beer lovers and football lovers. Yeah. I can't understand that Notts County are struggling to pay £200,000 tax bill. What is happening there? How can they not afford to pay a £200,000 tax bill? They, uh, Why have they got a £200,000 tax bill is the first question. Yeah, and yeah, it's down yeah. to bad management. Yet again. Yet again, yet again. And they were a massive club years ago yeah. in Notts County. First yeah. division all the time. Yeah, but now they're going to be, they'll be playing in Nottinghamshire Senior League at this rate. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. In the co-op division. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what happened, uh, I know Leicester's the other side, isn't it? What what happened to Coventry in terms of football? Because they were always in the play. Yeah, Coventry, um, they had that. I can remember Coventry. I was away at that away game when Leicester fans invaded the pitch. And um, that weren't a very pretty sight. <laughs> but um, I didn't go on the pitch. I was only about 14 then. So yeah, don't yeah. think I'm some kind of hooligan. Um, if I'd have been older, I probably would have been. Um <laughs> You get caught up in the moment, don't you? Yeah. Uh, but I, I haven't got a clue. It, it's a, another sad case of what's happened to a great football club, at FA Cup winners. What's gone wrong there? It's, and, and once again, it's teams that are living beyond their dreams or the management living beyond their dreams. So, so. Um, we have one more on football, and that is, for me now, Fulham. They paid £100 million on players when they got promoted. They've gone straight back down... With the financial fair play rules now, or whatever they call it, I think they're in deep trouble now, aren't they? Yeah, I do. But they've got that. Um, who's the bloke who owns them? Um, one of the cons. Did he, did he try to buy Wembley? He's not <laughs> sure for a few quid, is he? In he, fact, he for all you wrestling fans out there, doesn't he own AEW wrestling that's just set up? You probably I don't know. Do you a wrestling fan? No, I I don't, no idea. No idea. Yeah, I think he's just set up AEW wrestling so he's put a fortune into that so he's not short of a few quid so uh, I don't know what's happened at what at Fulham it's that's another one that's sad another club with great history that's you know um okay somebody's saying Plaza Fish Bar London Road in Leicester is really yeah good. yeah I know it is it oh. I've got to give it a go is that a really... Uh, I mean, I'm not from Leicester, so... I think, I think uh, yeah, I've... Me and my father, we used to work in Leicester fitting windows for sign windows. Yeah. And uh, we, um, when we were in that area, we used to stop off at the fish and chip shop. So, yeah, it is a good one. I know it's a good chip shop. I don't know whether it still is a good chip shop, but, uh, yeah. That fish you were eating the other day was almost like falling off the... the yeah. Bar. Look terrific. Oh. Yeah, I, he's, uh, he's offered me, uh, his dad who owns the place, um, they've offered me uh, free fish and chips. And I said, I don't do it for free stuff. I just do it because I enjoy it. So so a question about, let's let's go back to your channel a, a little bit here. Um, have you been, now you've been kind of doing this for a little while and, and you've, you've grown quickly. Have you had contact from, from, from companies offering you food or drinks or... Well, the free, the, free, the free lady bit, that's a, they've offered me um, the free chocolate. Uh, Primula, they sent me some stuff the other day that I did a review on. Uh, but I've, I've found out that um, I've got this, there's a, there's a bloke who deals with True Geordie. Um, I don't like dropping True, True Geordie's name in because I feel like I'm piggybacking on his success. So, I don't like to drop it in, but I've had to for this bit. Um, yeah. There's, there's a bloke there who um, who's advising me what I should and shouldn't be doing. And uh, he, he says, basically, I should be charging companies, big companies like Primula, I should be charging them to do this kind of stuff. So There's, there's beer. No, I, I, I don't do it because, well, you can tell by the red face, I enjoy beer. I do it. I don't charge breweries. So no. I don't get a sense. A lot of the stuff that you see here, I guess, sent. Yeah, it's that thing, isn't it? It's like you, you seem to be like me. You enjoy doing this, 
Yeah. And you feel a bit of a fraud for doing it. But I suppose with a company as big as Primula, I should have asked for a fee. Yeah. And it, it, I will help. Somebody like this, a smaller company, I will love to help. I, You know what I mean? It's, it's big business. I mean, I, I'm sure our followers won't mind us talking about this. Uh, um, there, there are, there's been stories of some of the massive beer channels out there. They charge up to £350 per video, per whatever they've been sent. Yeah. And that's like, if you imagine we're knocking these out seven days a week, that's big money, isn't it? That, yeah. Um, well, I've actually decided um, this space here behind me is for hire. So yeah. if somebody wants me to put something on this wall, I will put it on there for a fee. Yeah. And yeah. to see if it works. I'll only charge a small fee. Yeah. I'm not greedy. Um, but if, if somebody's got some artwork or something, somebody's actually sending me some artwork, and I will put it up there uh, yeah. for nothing this time. But if somebody wants me to put something up there for free, uh, uh, for, a, for, a, for a fee... Yeah. I'm quite willing. And you've got that car, that um, cardboard. You've got that cupboard behind you. You could put Adidas, Nike, anything up there, couldn't you? Absolutely. Bottle, um, different bottles. Even, I mean, some people have asked me, are, are them glasses put in place because they're sponsored? And I said, no, no, they're just, they're just chucked in. You know, they're just some yeah. of them, beer festivals and, and whatever. I got about... 300 glasses in the house. Yeah. I yeah. bet you do. It goes crazy, yeah. It started yeah. off, that was some kind of food cover, and then all of a sudden it become glasses. Yeah. That it's there, though, isn't it? There's, you know, there's, there's, if people want to watch this and people want to take my brick wall up, it's there. They, they can have it for a price. Exactly. And hopefully, you know what I mean. Exactly. Do you know, and there's a lot of people here, they, they're kind of agreeing with what we're saying here, because... If you were to if you were to make it kind of like full time on YouTube, then then of course everybody's entitled. Every you know you you have to feed your kids. You have to exactly. build your mortgage. You build. She's the size of my kids. She's bloody massive. She could play scrum off for Wigan. So I mean, yeah, there, there, there is that, and I, I yeah, it's it, it's a tough one, isn't it? Because you do it because you love it. Yeah, I do. do. I, I absolutely love doing this. This is one of the best things I've ever done in my life. And yeah. I don't want to be greedy, but I don't, also don't want to have the taken out of me. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, there's a line, isn't there? There's a line. Yeah. There's a line to be drawn. But it's, I've, never, I've never thought about it enough. The brewer, I guess, sent a lot of beer from breweries, and I should maybe, but I don't. But, no, no. But it's a fine line, isn't it? You're just doing it because you love it. Um, but there again, you don't want to have the Mickey took out of you. So I, I, I can see what this bloke who said to me said you should be charging, and I can see what he said now. Because a company like Primula is massive, isn't it? When all said and done. Oh yeah, ma yeah, absolutely. Do you know? But but seeing that, do you know? Um, there's people on YouTube who, who advertise sunglasses on, and they have to. Say Why do people wear sunglasses inside? Yeah, exactly. That. I don't. Well, I can't understand that. Why do you wear sunglasses inside? What are you, some kind of idiot, or what? I don't know. Exactly that, and and but they they do the advertisement, so they get paid to wear sunglasses. But it spoils the video for me because yeah, it does. Three times in that video, they've got to say these glasses are from, and they got to show the arm where the name is. These glasses are from soda, and you're thinking you could be in full. You know when you're in full pouch, you're talking about a pie or a bag of crisps or some fish and chips. Halfway through, you don't want to stop and think, right, I need, no. to, I need to talk about my channel sponsor. Yeah, I don't, I don't talk about the fact that I'm wearing Primark underwear and drop me trousers and show me Primark pants. <laughs> exactly that, exactly that, yeah. So I, I think I think it, it it would affect your flow, I think. If, yeah, it, yeah it, I do it because I enjoy it. If I can make a bit of money out of it as I go along, that's brilliant. But I'm not here to be greedy. I don't want that kind of thing. And I don't want to be known as that kind of thing because that would take away my personality. I am me. But don't take the piss. Well, I think by Christmas, personally, you're on 37 now. I think I think you're going to be on 45, 50,000. Yeah. And that's kind of, on in YouTube terms, that's when the managers start knocking on your door and saying, we'd like to 
to yeah. run your company and maybe it, they, it, maybe they it, it, maybe. it comes to a case where you are I am actually thinking I mean even the lads at work are saying I mean they talk about it at work and I'm actually thinking this has got to be starting to get boring for them but to be fair to my mates at work um, I said to Babs the other day about it and he says no 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 we're all behind you and I tell you what if this does kick off I won't forget the lads at work because um, they have been quite supportive of this because yeah, when you're at work sometimes you get boring don't you? you keep talking about the same thing you think oh here he goes he's talking about it again but the lads at work have been I bet they're all watching now and I bet they're thinking you lying git <laughs> <laughs> just, just tell my family I'll tell you about, I've been doing the beer for nine years now and the moment I, I had a small um, party yes I, I'm going to be 40 in a couple of weeks and my grandparents can't come down to my 40th party in this house because they can't climb the stairs in the terraced house so we had a small party at my mum's house last night um, my grandparents come it's a bungalow so the toilet's on the flat and the moment I started talking about Billy you know you see people's eyes rolling it's <laughs> Here he goes again. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Oh, shut up. Exactly. We've heard about it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's your passion, isn't it? You love it. I, I love yeah. it. No, I'm not going to I love it. it. I love doing this. And I, I just love doing it. And hopefully the people... Do the people out there love us doing this? Or are they getting the good comments still? Yeah, let's have a look. Um, sorry, we've bought stuff that you reviewed and they have made money. So it's okay. Um, if... People are saying, basically, if we're advertising a product, then surely we should be getting paid for it. So I think, basically, people are basically on... What, like this? This one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, basically, people are saying, if, if Prime Minister have come to you and offered, offered you um, snacks, maybe... I did some cheeses. I did some cheeses. And I tell you what, they were bloody brilliant cheeses. And I went back to uh, Primula... And I says, what you should be doing is a Tandoori one and a Stilton one. Yeah. And they've taken that on board. And I'm hoping they're going to say, ah, because he said that, we might pay him a few quid. I don't want millions. Well, obviously, I do want millions. But I don't, you know what I mean? Just acknowledgements of what I've said. It'd be nice. Absolutely. And I think the the the, the growth that you're having now is ter- it's absolutely terrific. Um I'm going to pull you along, mate. Wait a minute. I'm going to pull you along. I'm going to get you there as well. That would be great. That would be that would be fantastic. But um, I'm one of the I'm one of these types who I saw you last year when you were on a thousand subscribers, and I was like, this guy is bloody great. And I was watching you. It for me, it doesn't matter if you were a thousand or hundred thousand. You're you've still been. You've maintained your personality. All the way through. I don't know any other way. I don't know any other way apart from being myself. And that's yeah, all yeah. it is. Absolutely. Um, it's, I think it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I'm still, still sipping. I'll finish mine. I know. I hate to be in a row with you. <laughs> <laughs> do you know, people say, do you know, uh, do you know the first thing? Um, you could, It gives it a clue, the height of the... Um, the, the height of the, what you call it, yeah, the, the extractor fan. Yeah. On camera, I don't know, people seem to think I'm like this six foot kind of stocky, but but I'm only short. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm not far off the kitchen unit here, really. Being a, being a Welshman, we, we are small. Do, do you know when I meet people, like I do events, I, I'll meet people in pubs in Cardiff or Bristol, and the first thing they do is they look and then they look again, because... They, they think I'm this great big strapping six foot, but I'm only a short arch. Really. Yeah. <laughs> we have to have our we have to have our extra fan high up high because I whack my head on it. We've got one of these glass curved ones, yeah, and I'm always whacking my head on it, and it still ain't bloody high enough. <laughs> <laughs> so people see you and think you're like massive. You think you're like a giant, but you're not. Just just a small, yeah, just just as tall as the extractor fan. That's it. Well, you're so point in having a high call if you can't reach it, is there? No, absolutely. What comments have we got? Um, to be fair, I don't think Simon is a Nike kind of guy. Um, I've had Nike 
training. Do you get trolls? Do you get a few trolls throwing the odd insult? I do. Yeah, I, I get... Um... I love a troll. I think they're brilliant. Have you got one yet? Oh, I've got a few. I've, I've got one bloke who always... Uh, it sounds like I'm bothered, but I'm not. Because he always put... Everything I post up, he's always there to put a thumbs down. And I yeah. absolutely love it. I love it. He thinks it winds me up. But I love it. I think he's brilliant. It's like a little badge of honour. I find that... Um, yeah, exactly that. At least a thumb down within the first two minutes of the video being released. And I think, haven't you got anything better to do? <laughs> I, I love it. I think it's brilliant. Uh, and you must sit there and you must think, oh, that's got him. And I'm thinking, no, it hasn't. I just love yeah. it. it does. In fact, I'd be more offended if you put a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Because it all counts on the the YouTube yeah. Richter scale, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's doing. They're thinking, they think, oh, that's cost you. No, it hasn't. That's cost me anything. Oh, I tell <laughs> I you never... what to talk about. Um, and I hope the YouTubers don't mind just talking about this quickly. It's, it's a part of YouTube. What do you think of the new analytic analytics dashboard thing that the you see, have you seen it? Do you, op do you ever open it up on the laptop? And um, to be fair, mate, I haven't got a clue what you're on about because I've only been doing this for so many months. <laughs> ah, right, okay. Well, they've changed it in the last. So basically, it would show you who's watching from where, how long they're watching for. Yeah. They basically changed all that up, and and people are like, some people are loving it, some people are outraged, and I, I just wonder what your do you just... I, I, I don't know, mate. I, I go, is it that YouTube creator thing? That's it, yeah. That's yeah. It. Um, it's I, as, as I haven't got a clue what it was before, I don't know. Um, I go on it, I press the buttons, and you go on your touch screen. And the worst thing with a touch screen is you touch it and it works. And, I, and you think, oh, shit, I didn't mean that to happen. <laughs> and then you have to go back, and then, it, and then you think you can't find what you were looking for in the end. And then you just throw your phone against the wall. What, I'm, what I'll have to do, Dave, um, I went to Belgium last year, back end of last year. Right out. Uh, this is coming on my channel shortly. Um, see that it's All right, yeah. Blends with friends, it says it. Just move it to the right, because where you're holding that, my fat head is. There you go. Mem mem memory, well, that's, that's not English, is it? No, I, I went to Belgium to brew a beer. Yeah. And, and I you want... I got five bottles. I'd like to send you one, I think. To okay, yes, mate. That'd be lovely. Review on your channel. Um, that looks like a stout. Is it a stout or...? No, it's a, it's a golden ale. It's a, it's a hoppy barrel. But what we did, we brewed this hoppy ale and we put it in an oak barrel. We took the beer and we put it in an oak barrel for three months. All right. Yeah, I'll try a bit of that with you, mate. No worries. I'll send you a bottle up. Well, I'll, okay. I'll give you my address. I'm not putting it out on the airwaves or no, 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 no. sending me the pants. Of course, of course. Send me an email and, and I'll, yeah. I'll post it up to you. That would be great to see you review that. That would be terrific. Um, comments. Pot noodle sauce at the last minute just before you eat it. Oh, shit. Newcastle have scored. Come on, Simon. Do you do it right? What's this now? Pot noodle sauce at the last minute. Before you eat. When do you put the sauce in the pot noodle there, Dave? Uh, yeah, last, well, yeah, you boil it all up and then you put it in. Yeah. Add a bit of Worcester sauce as well. Yeah. Put a bit of Worcester sauce in. Give it more salt. Perfect. Perfect. Got bad news here, mate. Newcastle have scored. Right. Okay. <laughs> no, don't worry. I'm all right. I'm fine. If you don't, all right, I'm not too fussed. Right, okay, okay. Do the public want us to carry on? Give me a hell yeah. Do you have any more beer, Dave? Anything? Anything at your disposal? I have got a Adams Explorer. Was that for your channel to review, or are you going to drink it? No, that's just in my garage waiting for me to drink. Let's, let's do it off the cuff. All right, I'm going to go and get a bottle opener. Okay. In the internet, great guys. You're watching just two blokes here, enjoy themselves with a beer. Uh, we've met. I've met Dave now. Never met him in person. I've met Dave twice over the internet. It's absolutely fantastic. We're now we're now just cracking open beers 
um because you guys like it and kind of we like it what have you, you what have you got dave adam's explorer is it's it? adam adam's um east coast blonde explorer we um we have been to southwold on holiday a few times and this is the beer that they drink out there uh they they do brew this out there they've got a lovely little brewery and yeah, yeah. um in my local cost cutters in salve uh they've got this there now and i thought sod it i'm gonna have a bottle of this it's lovely yeah. it's um hold on i've got to put my glasses on it's <sighs> true the sign of old age <laughs> it's a lot like a fat bold michael kane um <laughs> you're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off <laughs> it's five uh, percent in alcohol. It's a five hundred milliliter bottle, and I think it cost me uh, two quid. Three. So we're doing three for a fiver, but uh, sod that. If you buy them, you drink them, don't you? Absolutely. So, yeah. I'm drinking a. What oh, you got? It's a bottle of that. <laughs> Hello. Is it from the Quant? Have you heard of Quantock? All right, that's gone right. right actually, I can say it better now. Uh, yeah, go on. No, I've not, as a matter of fact. They're from Taunton, down uh, Somerset way. Right out. Uh, the Quantock Hills, it's like a it's like a range of hills before, I think it's before Exmoor and then Dartmoor. So it, it kind of rolls down from Dartmoor to Exmoor. Yeah. The little hill. A lovely part of the country down there, to be fair. Quantock, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, well, that's mine. Here we go, folks. That is, I tell you what, if you're ever out in uh, Southwold, get down that brewery. I'll turn that off again. Right. Oh, sorry. I'll have the thump going off. <laughs> there you go. Brilliant. It's a nice amber ale, is it? Amber it ale. is. It's, it's a real nice ale. This, it's shut up. <laughs> Bloody thing. That's the trouble with this. You, you you think it's quite funny at the time, and then it gets on your tits. <laughs> um, <laughs> it is. It these are a real Adnams. They do gin as well. And uh, the wife bought me a bottle of gin uh, last Christmas, and it's absolutely wonderful. So if people, you ever get a chance to see this Adnams? It's not Adams, Ad Nums. Yeah. Right? It's uh, it's tremendous. Really is good. What you got then, youth? How's yours taste? Mine's quite a um, bit of a bit of a frothy number I've got at the moment. Uh, let's get the aroma. It's piney, grapefruity. Those kind of hoppy pear. Four percent it is. I'm taking the, the, the alcohol down slightly now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got a plaster that wall in the morning. I've got a stonking hangover doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Still a hundred people watching this, Dave. Isn't it terrific? I, I, my biggest. Problem, it's amazing. It's amazing. I should be looking at the comments, but I should be involved in the, 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 the public a bit more. But it, we, yeah, we seem to get on so, so well that you just, you know. I hope the wife's done. You're right, lover. Oh, it's the daughter. What are you out there? Yeah, we're alive. No, I don't want to be in that. I just woke up. <laughs> Do you mean you just woke up? I thought you were watching Leicester. No. I don't want to be in it. Well, <laughs> you're in it. Get out. No. It's all right. The daughter's just come down. She's fell asleep on her iPhone. So go on, mate. What were you saying? Um, I just, You've lost it now, haven't you? The comments, <laughs> the, the, the comments are, uh, are kind of rolling through, but... We've kind of like clicked as as two strangers, really. We yeah, met. that's it. Yeah, that's it. It's exactly, and it's just worked out fantastically well. Uh, they do big big head on the beers in Somerset. People are saying, um, "Do you guys like vodka or is it just beers?" I like anything. Yeah. I'll drink vodka. I'll have a whiskey drink. I'll have a cider drink. I'll have a log drink. I'll have anything. I fall down, but I get back up again. <laughs> Yeah, I got you. <laughs> I got you. Um, somebody... You've got me there, ain't you? I wonder how many other people pick up. Pick, work, work that out, folks. If you work that out, put it on the screen and let Simon see it. Yeah, exactly. So they're going to say it. The actual comment. Somebody's asking for a cider review. I don't really drink. I, don't you? I drink tons of cider. I'll Ooh. drink anything, to be fair. 
Um, as long as I enjoy it, I'll drink anything. I've actually, I've actually got an uh, an Audi side up there that I keep meaning to review. So perfect, perfect. Uh, oh, somebody's drinking a Russian Imperial Stout. That's really. Double stout at eight percent ABV. Watching a look. Russian Imperial Stout. Yeah, yeah. Maybe what I might. Where did, you get, where did you get that from? Ask them where they got that from. I'll be interested in that. Uh, who was it? And to the comments and roll through quickly. Whoever mentioned, oh, it was Bart. Bart, where did you get the Russian Imperial Stout from? Well, I'll do, Dave. I'll have a look. To, with Leicester, where your local bottle shop is. Yeah. And you'll be able to go in there and... You'll probably I'll, be to... I'll, I'm really interested in that Russian stout. That sounds good. I love stout. My, one of my favourite stouts I ever had was one called Gillespie's. Uh, my local village played away at, Gle at uh, Gillespie's. They played away at uh, Aylston Town. Yeah. And uh, they had Gillespie's. And I got absolutely hammered on this Gillespie's at half-time. <laughs> Brilliant. Did you... I did, yeah. <laughs> but I yeah. weren't playing. I weren't playing at the time, but I was, yeah. Did you ever play football, Dave? Was you uh, playing? yes, but unfortunately, I broke my leg when I was eighteen. I snapped my tibia and fibula, ah, okay. and then I broke it again a year later running across a cricket foot, uh, cricket uh, car park. Ah, so my okay. career was over by the time I was twenty. Right. Okay. Oh crap! Anyway, I was nothing. I was nothing special. Yeah. 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 Was it one of those bad challenges where they just come in and... No, apparently, um, I'd cracked my fibula the week before playing against a team in Loughborough. Uh, there were one lad going around kicking players. So, I went in and kicked him, but unknown to me, I uh, I really hurt him. I hurt myself, and um, but I just walked off. But apparently, I'd hairline fractured my tibia. So, the first time I went in for a challenge the following weekend... Uh, it was only in a friendly against a team against uh, from Liverpool had come down just for a, a drink. Yeah. And uh, I'd snap my tibia and fibula. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Yeah. Um, my teammates were great, though, because they had a penalty competition in the penalty box where I broke my leg. <laughs> you're lying there on the floor. Yeah, and they had a penalty kick about. I, I thought I was great of them. Oh, no, no. I, I, village I, humour for you. I damaged my ankle playing football I thought I was a carpenter well I'm still a carpenter now I thought I can't afford to not earn yeah. money so I just went to work with a bad ankle I thought I can't I can't do yeah. it yeah my dad's a chippy as well he's 75 he looks like Hulk Hogan oh really yeah got the ponytail and the big Mexican moustache <laughs> does he still do a bit of chippy in? yeah he still does it yeah he keeps him active perfect perfect um, to both of you, what's your favourite holiday destination, Dave? Um, I, I love the East Coast, to be fair. Anywhere on the East Coast, me and the wife, it's we'd love it. It's absolutely perfect out there for us. We take the dogs, we take the kid. Um, we love it out there, really do. And we would like to buy a place out there eventually. So. Perfect. Have you ever been, mine's probably Tembe. Have you been to Tembe? Um, the only, is that Wales? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the only time I ever went to Wales is when I used to work for a company delivering eggs, our bald eggs. And oh. uh, I used to walk into the place and I used to wear an England football drill top. Mm. And as soon as I walked into the place, they used to start talking Welsh. <laughs> I don't speak. I'm on the south coast, so... All right. Uh, have you... Gavin and we we want to go up to Anglesey. Is that is that nice, that area? Never been. Never hey, yeah. No, I, I don't venture far, me. I, I... Have you heard of Gavin and Stacey? Yeah. I think I mentioned that one. I went... I yeah, you said, yeah. So, we've got Cardiff, which is English-speaking, Barry, which is where I'm from, English-speaking, and then further west and then north. Yeah. It's Welsh. Yeah, it gets... Yeah. I don't, I don't speak a word of Welsh, so I... I I don't, don't speak a word. Is that a bad thing? Surely, surely you should learn your native tongue. Um, people you must be able to speak a bit of it. All your signs are in Welsh. Yeah, it's I go over that bridge and it's all Welsh. It's amazing. Do you know, every, I, I had a, a bloke from Poland come over last year. 
I, I don't notice because I'm here all the time. I don't notice the what all I see is the English signs. It must be your brain, your brain. Yeah. But he was like, Oh, what's this? Araf, what's this? And, and he kind of like point me out for the fact that there was well signs everywhere. I just, I just don't, I never, never, to be honest. But I, I know it's yeah. like, maybe a little bit ignorant, maybe, but. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's no. all right. Each to their own. Yeah, I suppose okay. I found English easier. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll tell you what, mate. I'm going to have to knock this on the head because yeah. um, I've missed the first half and uh, the wife's down. I've got to go and spend some quality time with the family. Me too. I Me thank too. everybody for turning up and watching us. It's, I've really enjoyed this and we will do it again. Brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. Dave? Brilliant. Thank you very much. So a week Monday. Let's advertise it here first. Fingers crossed. It'll happen. Week Monday. Dave's, I'm going to send an email to Dave uh, with the new, the new Morrison's beer because there's loads of beer in Morrison's. Um, new beers in Morrison's. I'll find them out tomorrow. Send him a picture with what's new. Dave, yeah. will, uh, Dave will maybe make a short video on his YouTube channel advertising this and then bang. We'll be back here. Monday the let's have a look on the calendar. Monday the fifteenth, is that right? No, no, yeah. that's, no, that's 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 Monday this week. Twenty second, Monday the twenty second of April. Okay, sounds good to me. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Dave, for tuning in. All right, thank well, you for everybody watching. <laughs> Cheers. Bye. 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 Stone the crows. <laughs>